Uh, it's Fat Boy and Power Zinc. The nice tonight. It's the revolution. Uh, uh, why is it always some old black and white boy telling us young fellas that we ain't relevant in a world that embellishes like a relative content from these elements? You call them stars. I call What's going on, family? It's your boy, DJ DeCapo, a.k.a. Brother DJ, a.k.a. Cartier Capo, coming to you live from the studio. It's another Wolf on Wall Street. want to go ahead and, like I said, keep doing these things for you guys, uh, let you know that investing is possible, uh, financial freedom is possible, even from a uh, budgeting, small budget standpoint. And that's the reason why I wanted to go ahead and do this one and uh, really get into my one particular Robinhood account where I keep reiterating to you guys that you don't have to have a whole bunch of money. You don't have to have a whole bunch of money at one time. Uh, this particular Robinhood account that I have, uh, I basically kind of nickel and dimed it just to see how it will perform. I guess, you know, you, you really shouldn't do like trial and errors with your money, but that, that's kind of what I did because I got... Like I said before, I got money spread out here, there, whatever. Um, it's just kind of, I want to see how it would, how it would do. So um, this particular Robinhood account, I'm going to let you guys in on something right now. All right. This particular Robinhood account, I am currently sitting at $423.08. All right. Boom. Uh I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten stocks. Remember how I said, don't be trying to invest in everything and don't be spreading your money out and you know make sure you focus on the set amount of stocks that you can handle and uh, you know that you feel comfortable investing in. Uh, so when I first started out with this particular account. I'm going to let you guys know what my first initial investment was. When I started out this account, I started my first my first withdrawal out of my account into Robinhood was July 25th, all right? July 25th. It is right now December 19th. So you got August September, October, November, and it hasn't even been a full month yet uh, for the 4th of December. So basically, I'm going to say five months. So five months, all right? And I put in 35, 20, 10, 20, 25, 25, 20, 15, 15, 15, 10, you know, 25, nothing over $50, and I just, like I said, I wanted to nickel and dime and see how it would do compared to the other ones that I'll share with you later uh, in the stock market, you know. And some of the stocks that I bought was, I, I've talked to you guys about this before, is, is Plug Power. Uh, I bought into Tesla. I bought into Starbucks, Nike, uh, Disney. Peloton, Jumia, and I and I bought into like uh, uh, actually I bought into a lot of different things too. Uh, Johnson and Johnson, Square, uh, a couple other ones, and and I and I actually uh, sold out of those things and, and took profits and whatnot. Um, but you know, for me, this lets me know that this proves my point that the average person who takes time to research these companies and, and and put in the work can make money i'm sitting at 423 dollars and eight cents uh i only initially invested total 290 dollars of my own money all right nickel and diamond okay and the first you know uh just this past week i was up almost 11 percent 41 dollars and 76 cent uh, this past month i was up 19 percent 70 dollars and 44 percent in the past three months i'm up 33 percent 104 dollars and 99 cent 
in the past year, even though it hasn't even been a year, it's only technically it hasn't even been five months, but I'm at, I'm up thirty seven percent, thirty seven point six seven percent, one hundred and fifteen dollars and seventy eight cents. All right, so it can be done. All right, it can be done. You can invest, and you can buy into companies and make money. P Plug Power alone. All right, this particular account, I own three shares of Plug Power. The stock price is currently sitting at thirty one ninety eight. I own three shares, with an average cost of fifteen forty one per share. All right, that that's major. So for three shares, average cost of fifteen dollars. All right, you can do the math. That's forty five bucks. My market value for these three shares is at ninety six dollars and forty eight cents. If I was to sell out right now, I would have netted in my return forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents, basically fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Off of my forty five dollar investment, I'm I'm gonna get a hundred and seven percent return if I was to sell out of this stock and sell everything and cash out. Okay. Uh, also, Jumia Technologies. This is the African Amazon people. Uh, if you didn't get in on this play early, I don't know if you're gonna get into it now. But it's currently sitting at forty two dollars and seventy five cents. Okay. And I, I, on this particular one, I have two shares and the average cost per share is $28.74 for me. Okay. And so $28.74 is the average. The stock price is at $42.75. Okay. My market value is $92.06. And if I was to cash out, I would get the $30.18 which equals to uh, I'm up 48%. So once again, it can be done. I'm proving it to you. This particular account, I nickel and dimed it. I nickel and dimed it. I made some other plays. You know, I, I bought into NEO. I, I own a share of NEO on this one. I, I own, uh, like I said, three shares of Plug, two shares of Jamea, a share of NEO. I got Fuel Cell, uh, like I said, uh, Nike, Starbucks, Apple, Disney, Peloton, Tesla. All right. Just these 10 stocks alone, I'm probably going to stick with and just ride the wave out. Uh, depends if something catches my eye. But I'm going to tell you my long-term growth stocks for sure is Tesla, Nike, which actually just hit uh, a 52-week high uh, of stock price of $144.00. Is seventy six cents. So if you didn't get in when when Nike was, let me see. When I got in, the average cost per share was one hundred and twenty five dollars and fifty five cents. So it was up one forty four seventy six. So I mean, I've I've made money off of that play, and you know they also pay a dividend. So I get a dividend on top of that. So once again, I'm going to keep reiterating this to you guys. You can make money in the stock market. You can make profits in the stock market, even though people will say that it's not safe. It's, it, they use this word volatile. Um, and mind you, I'm no professional. I'm only giving you my personal experiences, my trials and tribulations as I've been doing this. You know, it, and I'm be honest with you, it's not easy managing three different uh, portfolios. Uh, you know, and I have a third party one as well. But, you know, these are the things that I'm into. These are the things that I want to do and the things that I'm trying to teach my children at an early age so they can have a great understanding. And also, I want to say I want to teach you guys as well. If you already know, you know, this is just more to add to your arsenal, you know, and if you're a beginner, which is this is what this is directed for, for my beginners, you know, this is going to be great information. You know, I, I, I'm giving you stocks to look at, um, you know, every week. I'll try to highlight a particular stock that's budget friendly. You can buy it in, you know, whatever shares you can afford, and then we're going to see how it grows. You know, like I said, five months in, I've only invested $290 into this one, and I'm already over $400. So I'm no, I'm no Warren Buffett, I'm no Charles Schwab, or nothing like that, but I, I feel comfortable enough to, to know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. 
Um, I don't do option trading or nothing like that. And this is only because I don't know enough about it. Uh, but once I do and I keep building up my, my resources and my portfolio and I keep building up my shares of, of, of companies, then maybe I'll look into more option trading and things of that nature. But um, once again, family, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know if you got any questions, concerns, stocks that you want to talk about. Uh, if, if, if there's something that, you know, you want to bring to my attention that, you know, hey, I should look into as far as adding to my own portfolio. Let me know. You know, we're here to help. We're here to help each other. I want to help you guys. It, 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 you know, I want to reciprocate everything that I've learned to you guys, especially people in the community, those of us in the community, so we can seek our financial freedom. That's very key to me. That's very near and dear to my heart. Uh, like I said, I have kids. A lot of people I know have kids. And uh, one thing that I believe in, I want to be able to leave something for my kids. I don't want them to be struggling and, and things of that nature. I want them to be able to have something outside of uh, property, you know, and as far as most people kind of leave their houses to their kids or whatnot. But I want to leave a nice portfolio, nice, nice nest egg for these guys so they can have a jump start on life because I always said that those of us in the community and, and we all know this, we've always been three, four steps behind. We've always had to work super hard to be able to just be able to live and, and, and survive and on a day to day basis. So the more that we can instill this knowledge into the young ones, the better off they'll be. So uh, I appreciate this time with you guys. Like I said, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every subscriber that we do have. Like, share, leave a comment. Do, 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 do. Got to pull out some liquor from my brothers that ain't here uh, with me right now. Chefin, Brother Black, Godmama, uh, Jesse, BJ, Powers. Make sure y'all go shout out, uh, go look at Noobs and Pros. Uh, the whole Junkyard gang, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to say, hey, definitely miss my brothers. And uh, we actually had did a great show today. Brother Chef it was in the building. And uh, you're going to see him a lot more and more, you know, as time go on. You know, God, Mom, she's here with us, you know. And, and it's great to have a nice uh, female voice, perspective, and aspect to uh, this male-dominated uh, Squadcast podcast that we got. So uh, with that being said, thank you so much, family. Take care.